These ducks certainly don't mind the weather. Having said that, they are fire ducks because they were born on my birthday and they are the loudest ducks in all the land. But they'll be pleased this week as there's a grand fire trine stoking our passion and a full moon in Gemini. Yes, it's December and you're feeling frisky as anything, fingers crossed, because we the week kicks off with a grand fire trine. And within that grand fire trine, the moon is in your sign. You're passionate and you're filled with desire and a desire for adventure and a desire to express your emotions and also a massive desire to have fun. And because Jupiter is in your position of fun and pleasure within this fire trine, you want to expand, you want to learn through enjoying yourself, which actually I think is a rather good and jolly way to go about learning. Why not? If there's something that gives you pleasure but also stretches you, what better thing in life to do? So look around you, look for inspiration, look for ideas because they sure are coming in this week. Also, your ruler, and my ruler, because I'm an Aries, is shifting signs, which is always a big astrological event for us. And it's going into this fantastic position, which is all about linking in with people. So going out more, being fantastic at social media, connecting to how I like to see it, the one consciousness, to our connection to everything that is. And what does that mean and why is it useful? Well, it allows us to cast out our dreams and manifest and create our reality. It's really important that you understand that you're connected to everyone and everything and to kind of revel in that and enjoy that at the moment. It's such a passionate week because there is another grand fire trine on the 5th and you're just feeling very outrageous and excited about life. Be a little bit careful though, because you might get so over enthusiastic, you might say something that steps on someone's toes, or you may be very opinionated. Anybody that knows you, if you're typical Aries, will be going, you opinionated, surely not. So hold back a little bit from your usual ability to just speak your mind, which is valiant and good, but sometimes, you know, just break it down with a little bit of gentleness and love uh, and, and coolness. The full moon is actually in your position of communication. So you're able to really think and analyze your emotions this week. And you could be surprised at what comes up. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. I've got loads more free astrology on my website and lots of other free readings. www.michellenight.com. I'll see you there.